Welcome to the story of liberty. There's a great story about a praying mother. Her name was Monica. There's not too much in history about her, except that we know she was the mother of Augustine, the greatest of all the early church fathers. Augustine shines forth as a bright star in the firmament of the early church history. He was born in 354 AD in North Africa, not far from the ancient city of Carthage. His father was a pagan, but his mother Monica was a woman, a virtuous woman, a Christian woman who prayed for her son constantly. Augustine's father was only concerned that he excel intellectually and he knew he was gifted so he arranged for him to complete his studies in the city of Carthage but unfortunately there Augustine found the temptations of life just too much for his sensual nature. Augustine be became completely ensnared by the vanities of the world but his mother Monica continued to pray until one day her prayers were finally answered. And Augustine went to Milan. By the providence of God, he became acquainted with another church father named Ambrose. He listened to his sermons and he was greatly impressed and by the light of the Holy Spirit, he began to understand the nature of of the gospel of sin and grace. At the age of 31, Augustine was in the garden in Milan and he was weeping and calling to God for deliverance from sin. The story goes that he heard a voice of a boy or a girl from a house nearby repeating a kind of chant, take and read, take and read. And without delay, he took up the New Testament and read Romans 13 verses 13 and 14. These words which fell upon his eyes, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting or in drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. At once almost every shadow of guilt of doubt melted away there and then on that day Augustine passed from death to life Augustine had a deeper spiritual insight into the scriptures than any of the church fathers I don't believe there was never a man more determined and fearless in defense of the truth of the gospel he rendered immense services to the kingdom of God and others that would come later, Luther and Calvin. And indeed, the whole church under God stand deeply in debt to Augustine, a true man of the faith.